What's up guys? Josh here. Um, figured I would talk about why I haven't posted a video of me driving my car yet, only of me uh, uh, letting it sit there and idle up to temperature. Um, found out that my the electric fan that I have isn't really sufficient. Uh, don't know what brand it is and don't know who made it or anything like that, but it's definitely not enough to uh, keep the car cooled. Um, that it, for me to feel comfortable with it, especially since it was on the uh, on the day that I let the car idle up, it was only 80 degrees outside and it wasn't sitting in traffic and it was still getting a little warm, even with the fan cutting on. Um, granted, the system hadn't been fully bled and all that other stuff, so I went ahead and ordered a uh, a Flexalite. <coughs> Uh, one of their Cyclone specialty high performance fans. Um, I wanted to just talk about it a little bit because the most most electric fans are reversible. You can reverse the polarity on the leads going into the fan, and it'll switch the direction of which the fan spins. But with that in consideration, you also have to flip the fan blades themselves. The only time that you won't have to flip a fan blade possibly is if it's the fans that have the flat blades on them instead of the uh, the concave and the convex or the concave uh, blades. So according to this one, the fan blade for the pull, which is how it come, it should come set up. Some of them don't. You can actually buy some of their fans set up in to show up in the box either as a push or a pull, and it's the same fan. So you need to be mindful of what you buy there because as far as I can tell, there's no there's no like distinction on the fan other than how it comes out of the box that tells you, hey, this is set up for push and you need to flip it over for pull. Or it's set up for pull and you need to flip it over for push. So this one, according to the side uh, label here. You can't really read it, but it's got, it says, for the air going this way, the black lead is a positive and the fan blade spins uh, counterclockwise. Yes, counterclockwise. So, it spins this way. So what that tells me is the uh, outer edge of the concave portion of the fan blade is the leading edge of the uh, blade that's going to actually capture the air and force it through the blades. Now, these are really easy to flip over. Um, there's actually just a pin or a snap ring, and you just pop it out and pull the fan blade. Literally, it takes like five seconds. Um, my fan on my car is actually hidden because I have to run it as a push setup because I don't have enough room between the front main pulley and the uh, back of the fan due to me still running the uh, air conditioner on my car. Yes, I still run the air conditioner on my car. Uh, main reason for that is I tend to partially daily drive the car. It's something for me to drive back and forth to work that's a little bit more fun than my pickup truck. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, also, I don't plan on pulling it to either A, track events or autocross events. I plan on driving it to autocross events. And with the air conditioner on, sitting in traffic, the car can get a little warm. Um, but other than that, it, I don't have any issue cruising down the road with the air conditioner on. Um, so other than that, I just wanted to give you all a quick little update of where the car's at. I know I didn't really, I didn't say anything in my recent, uh, recent video that I posted about with the car idling. Um, didn't really need it. It is straight piped. I know it's idled bad. I haven't tuned it. It's, I literally got in it, idled it up, made sure it idled, idled up to temp, like drove it down the driveway and then drove it back up the driveway. That's, that's pretty much all it's done. It, uh, runs like crap. So, um, other than that, uh, if you like the video, like it, 
Um, if you want to see more content, I'll have something linked over around here that you can watch and uh, uh, subscribe uh, for more content. Hopefully, eventually, one of these days, I'll have videos of me up on a track or autocrossing my car. Thanks, guys. Bye.